Howdy. I'm Cyberax with a wonderfully crafted, and I'm back with you for some guides. We are talking about look at today. I have gone rounds and rounds and rounds with look at. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed at it. And so I gave it to an apprentice, and I said, figure this out. Well, they did. So here it is. I'm going to give it to you. I'm also giving it to myself later for when I forget how to do it, because I'm going to forget how to do it in a week, and then I'm going to come back and watch this video. So, Cyberax, if you're watching this video again to learn how to do this, how did you do, future Cyberax? So let's get started. Well, what's Look At even do? Well, here it is. When I look at my station right here, you can see... I'll just ignore all those. Those are just those particles up there being all fancy and having a math issue. But you can see, when I look at my Earth space station, it says, hey, you're looking at me. See it? And then it says, oh, I reset. And then I look at it again. It says, hey, you're looking at me. I see you there. You're looking at me. And you get a little particle I play. So I'm playing a particle when it were being looked at and then it pops up and that's really useful for a whole bunch of things i'm not sure i'm going to tell you all of them you know you gotta pay me for that but look at that look at that it can detect me looking at it now i think we've got it set to like 25 or 50 or something so it can detect me looking at it all the way over here now there's a few caveats you gotta know. Cyberax, well, that looks pretty easy. Why did you fail so much? Are you just a failure? Well, yes, I'm a failure. That's what any game development is. You just gotta be a failureist. But what I didn't realize or understand is a few things here. One, it only triggers at the top of the collision box. The collision box is that whole thing right there. But it only triggers at the top of it. Not the eyeballs, not the head, not the head bone, not some bone name in the geo like you would think. Just at the top of the collision box. Now think about that. How many eyeballs in Minecraft are at the top of the collision box? That seems kind of silly that there isn't an offset for where I want my eyeballs and look at to be. I want look at to be right in the middle of the sucker. But they won't let you do that. It's got to be right at the top. Right at the top. So you're going to have to work around that. Now, I thought, well, I'll just take custom hitbox tester, you know, and I'll put some custom hitboxes in there and maybe it'll just accept those as well. Nope. No, it is not like that. So you don't have a lot of choices here. If you want to look, look at, wait, if you want to use look at, you got to just plan that your collision box is not going to be what you want. It's going to have to be what you, where you want them to be pointing at. So let's jump over the code really quick because that's another big piece of this. Now, here's the other big secret. And this is not in the documentation. We'll go look. Let's look at the documentation. Let's go over to the big old wiki. The big old wiki. Let's look at look at. Defines the behavior when another entity looks at an entity. That's all it says. That's all it says. Now, it gives you these, right? We're, we're in, we're not in. Yeah, we're not in creative. We're in survival. I've even had problems with it working in creative, even with this on. So I wouldn't do that. We're in survival mode. It's got some filters. It's got a look cooldown. It's got a look event. It's got search. It's got set target. Now, do you see anywhere in there other than right here that it tells you that this component only works with anger. 
you've got to have the anger system in your logic for it to reset. It'll work the first time. And this is why I kept failing. Because I would spawn an entity and it'd work. And then that was it. It worked one time. You reboot the world. You reboot the game. Doesn't matter. One time it works when you spawn it. And that's it. Because what happened is you made the entity mad. And that entity is mad for the rest of time. It doesn't matter if the game restarts. doesn't matter if you kick it in the head. It's still angry. And the only way to get it to be on angry is to fire an event with the calm event. That's the only way to get look at to work and reset in a loop. A game loop. What we're trying to do here, and you can see it says look cooldown. Well, that doesn't mean shit. If you don't make it calm. And you can tell I'm kind of angry about this. And I'm not very calm. Because I lost days. Days of my life. Because this shitty ass document doesn't say a damn thing about anger requirement. Or calm requirement. It just says, or look out for the target and won't get angry. That's it. Who wrote this? You gotta have anger and calm. And you gotta be calm to reset it when somebody looks at you. Now, I figured this out three or four years ago, and I had this same problem, and I failed, and I failed, but I really wanted it to work. So I failed till I made it work, and then I forgot how to do it. So that's why you're getting this guy today. It's a little unnerved, but I lost days over this one story. Stupid concept because the documents don't tell you what the requirements are. Why don't the documents have requirements? It's required. This is all we get. Yeah, this works one time. So, back to the god. So, we have it in here as a component. I don't think 50 works. I think 25 is about as far as it goes. And then we say, hey, player. That's who we want to listen for, looking. And then we got a look event. We're going to fire off that look event. And that look event's going to come in here and say, hey, there's our particle. And, hey, here's tell. Tell us we're looking at you. And remove out what we're doing to target me and let's uh add in the reset and the reset's got anger so we're gonna go from calm to angry and then we're gonna go from angry back to calm and that's how look at works it should take you five seconds to set up unless the documentation's wrong or missing or absent of requirements so, uh, you know, indie game development is all about failing and losing your mind and going crazy. Everybody asks, why well, Cyberx? Why do you talk like you do in your God videos? It's because the God doesn't have the documentation for requirements and I'm going crazy. I just want to look at it and have it pop up like any normal game does. You look at the thing and it shows you a box around it. Game Dev 101. But in, in Bedrock, you got to make it angry first to do that. But not very logical. You know? Not very logical, but that's what you got to do. So, 10 minutes out. We got to quit. Bye. See you later, team. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell.